The Center for Cognitive and Behavioral Brain Imaging, housed in the College of Arts and Sciences, is an interdisciplinary research center committed to pursuing structural and functional magnetic resonance studies using state-of-the-art techniques. We're also interested in contributing to the development of future brain imaging modalities and to disseminate this knowledge about brain, mind, and imaging to students and the public. The center opened up for business in 2012, and we currently have 36 faculty affiliated with the center, with these faculty representing all six colleges at the university and 15 departments. CCBBI has a Siemens 3 Tesla Prisma magnetic resonance imaging system with all the necessary ancillary equipment to carry out both structural and functional imaging studies. The center comprises of a scanner room, a control room with a clear window into the scanner room, two behavioral testing rooms, a subject waiting area, and office space for data analysis. An important piece of ancillary equipment is the computer system to deliver video and or sound into the magnet. MR-compatible button box and joysticks are used to collect the participant response. An eye tracker monitors eye movement. In some studies, a special microphone is used to record the participant's speech. There are three major imaging modalities we use. Structural image, functional image, and diffusion image. The high-resolution structural image have a good tissue contrast, allowing us to study the brain structure. Most researchers spend more time to collect images while the participant is doing a task or is resting. We call this functional imaging, or fMRI. We're going to go ahead and do the CPT again. Remember to press it with your right index finger when you see cities, but not mountains. The fMRI images look blurry, but the scanner can acquire a set of brain pictures in a second and repeat it over time. This allows us to study, for example, which part of a brain is activated during a certain task. The third modality is the diffusion imaging. By mirroring how easily the water molecules flow in different brain tissues, we can track the brain fiber directions. Like the red color in this picture indicates the fibers are left-right oriented. MRI safety. Compared to CT and X-ray, MRI is a safe imaging technique. The potential danger comes when a participant has an electronic or metal medical implant, or loose metal objects are brought into the magnet room. Our center will review a participant's online MRI safety questionnaire prior to their arrival for any possible safety issues. I always verbally double check with the participant upon arrival to ensure the MRI safety. We ask the participant to remove any jewelry, electronic devices, belt, or other clothing with metal and use a metal detector wand to ensure safety of the participant before entering the magnet room. In pursuit of our mission, the center actively participates in three capacities, research, teaching, and outreach. Over the years, the center has been actively contributing to all three of these and will continue to do so in more creative and rigorous ways in the future. Since opening, there have been 61 research projects that have been conducted at CCBBI. To illustrate a few, center studies have examined the effects of physical activity and mindfulness meditation on neural connectivity. Many of our users are studying neural correlates using sophisticated computational techniques for emergent constructs like decision-making, attentional control, and representation of 3D objects. We have faculty members that are interested in studying the human connectome across the lifespan. We have close collaborations with Nationwide Children's Hospital where childhood TBI and its impact on the brain is being systematically evaluated. 
In addition to research, teaching has been central to the mission of the center, and both undergraduate and graduate students are offered basic and advanced courses in functional neuroimaging. These courses often involve in-facility training at the center, design of fMRI studies, and analyzing and processing data. These courses are also supplemented with advanced workshops by experts across the country. One of the exciting developments in this past year has been the launch of our graduate specialization in cognitive neuroscience. This graduate level cross area specialization will allow us to provide rigorous methodological and content training in cognitive neuroscience to our doctoral students. Last year, we also launched the Advancing Diversity in Neuroimaging Research Initiative. This initiative is designed to provide academic opportunities, professional development, and funding support to undergraduate students from underrepresented groups who are interested in pursuing a career in neuroimaging research. This year, we have two ADNIR scholars who are working in CCBBI affiliated laboratories, and we will be recruiting two new scholars into this program for the 2021 year. The center has also engaged in several outreach events over the years, with some prominent ones being the Science Sunday event. It's an outreach event organized by the College of Arts and Sciences that involves having prominent scientists present their research to the broader public. Additionally, the center has hosted the STEM Breakfast of Science Champions event that brings in groups of 20 to 30 middle school children from Columbus City Schools and have them engage in learning about the brain and what we do at the center. There are a number of other events that the center collaborates with over the year, like the Humanities and Cognitive Sciences High School Summer Institute, organized by the Center for Cognitive and Brain Sciences, and the Ohio Psychology Teaching Conference, organized by the Department of Psychology. And of course, the center is actively involved in engaging future faculty members, students, donors, and administrative leaders by providing various talks and tours. In all of this work, it is important to remember and acknowledge that it takes a community to do everything that we have done and everything that we hope to accomplish. Please feel free to reach out to any member of our community to learn more about how you can get involved at CCBBI.